was shocked about a lot of uh, the Meek Mill and Drake battle. We were shocked that Meek Mills didn't even like really he didn't win that battle. Being, you know, a lyricist. It was just interesting. It was, it was a different kind of battle. Yeah. yeah. But you, you know, know, but like ghostwriting, you know, on top on the top of ghostwriting, is that something that's common with hits? Yeah, nigga be getting ghostwritten for us. I know that's what they used to call Jack the Ghostwriter. Ghostwriter. He used to write for a lot of people. So ghostwriting is just a part of making hits. It's just what it is. I mean, it's it depends on your taste. You know what I'm saying? Like a certain pedigree of, like for me, I'm not gonna respect the rapper really unless he writes his own rhymes. That's right. But if he, but the thing is, Drake said he's not a rapper. He said he was a singer. That raps. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he said he said he's gonna get beat by a singer, right? That's what he said. Getting beat by a singer. Yeah. yeah so right. he's a singing nigga. So, like, a singing nigga could do all of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. A battle I was rapper. Shocked. I ain't gonna lie, I was shocked. A battle I, I rapper just knew can. Bills was going just. It was a different. It was a different. Dead the whole thing. I'm gonna just say this, cause I'm not judging that that battle. I, I wasn't really there like that. But um, styles make fights. Too. You know, it depends on what you fight. You know what I mean? That's all. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's hip hop. You know, that's all part of the game. You understand what I mean? Right. right. One day you could win, the next day you could lose. Niggas be getting fucked up in MMA and they be winning. So battle rap is like that. That's why. That's what. That's what the sport of hip hop is. That's real hip hop. Battle rap. Like we was battle rapping first and foremost. Don't get it twisted. Jay was battle rapping. You know, Jay had that battle with LL. As I always tell LL, I'm like, yo, you gotta get that back. Cause Jay clearly got that one back then. Many people have lost their lives trying to reveal the secret. The secret has been hidden from the world far too long but now in order to become successful a lot of times you have to find your zone that's comfortable for you when you come to that crossroad and you get to a certain age where you have that epiphany where what the hell am i going to do with the rest of my life and you don't even have a plan yet that's when it's time to start writing your shit down sometimes you know life decisions and life choices steer you another path, but you know, mistakes are given, being a human, you know, we don't have to be perfect. One day the world's gonna have to come around and, and, and recognize that, yeah, this is different, but there's nothing like this out here. You have to let your imagination run wild when it comes to your career, period. Most people only plan for what they think they can get. The universe doesn't like that. The universe wants you to go for what you think is impossible. Dr. King said your character is built not during times of comfort and convenience, but during times of conflict and controversy. When you see an obstacle, don't let it deter you. You either can go over it, around it, <laughs> or through it, depending on your own strength. I've been through a lot of stuff in life, but never once have I felt like this is the end of my path. You have to put up your own money. That's independence. If someone else is putting up the money, that's dependence see yourself coming out as a boss at that place and get the fuck out of there. They can no longer keep it from us. Think and ball out.